In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the unboxing and a complete setup of your Canon Maxi 5 GX4020 all-in-one printer. So you can do the copy, print, scan and fax with this printer and this is an ink tank printer. You can print up to 6000 black pages or 14000 color pages with this printer. So let's do the unboxing and the setup. So this printer comes in a very good packing. So we can just remove this. Ink bottle, ink bottle is here. So you can just take out this section. Take the ink bottles. Manual. You can try to take it out completely. And so you get a power cable. Telephone cord with the handy bag. Just lift it up. Remove the protective tape. Plug in the power cable so that's at the back of the printer now if you look at the back of the printer you will see it has a cable for the line so that's the telephone line goes here extension is here switch on your printer go to the control panel select your country so this is a touch screen so click on the language confirm it enter the date and time if it's correct press ok select the time and then press ok you can enable the automatic update so press on next step is to load the ink tank now lift this section from here so there are four ink bottles to install to install it you have to open the cap and also open the bottle and place it here and press it down you will see the ink has started to fill in so wait for the ink to completely fill in so take the bottle out so just shake it and close the cap close this seal go to the next that's the pink open it and place it here so once it is completely filled shake it and take it out close the bottle and seal it Open the bottle and place it here. So it's very easy to install the ink in this printer. Now we can take it out. Close it and also close this cap. Open the lid. Open your bottle. So that's a big bottle so we can just place it here. Once it is completely filled in, you can just take it out, close this seal and you can just discard the bottle. So we have completely filled in the ink tank so you can just lift this section up and let it go so it will close itself. Printer control panel. Next step is to install the paper for the alignment. Paper tray is here. So that's the cassette paper tray. Slide it out. Adjust the size so you can install it for size or letter size paper. Slide it in, adjust it again, and close it. Now go to the printer display panel. 
and press OK. Now it's going to print alignment page, so it's good for the print quality. So click on the start print. For the alignment, it can take up to 10 minutes. Just wait for that. Go to the screen and click next. Click next again. Agree or do not agree, you can select that and click next. So if you don't agree, it won't send any device information to the Canon. If you agree, it will send that. So click next. Next, print is ready for the copy. Next step is to do you want to connect a computer or smartphone to the printer? Click yes. You want to connect it with the smartphone. Click on the exit. You will see the main screen of the printer. Before connecting with the smartphone or Windows laptop, we have to do the Wi-Fi setup. So it's easy to do from here. So click on the settings, click on the printer settings, select LAN settings, select the first option Wi-Fi. If you don't have Wi-Fi, you can select the wireless direct or if you have installed a phone line, you can connect it to the wired LAN. So I'm going to use the Wi-Fi, that's the easiest way. On the next page, scroll down and click on the Wi-Fi setup. Again, there are two methods, Easy Wireless Connect and Manual Connect and WPS. It will give you the list of Wi-Fi networks. You have to select your Wi-Fi network and enter its password. So that's the list of Wi-Fi's. Select your Wi-Fi. Enter the password of your Wi-Fi. Once you enter the password, press OK and OK to apply the password. Printer is connected with the wireless network. Press OK. Now go to the home. So press the home screen. And the Wi-Fi signal will show up here. So printer is connected with the Wi-Fi network. I'm going to use my iPhone. You can use Android phone, iPhone or your smartphone. Now go to the Canon print app. You can download this app from the app store we have to add the printer so click on the add switch on the next screen click on the register printer wait for your printer to appear select Canon GX 4000 series instantly it will add up the printer if you want you can start printing now so close it close this as well you should be able to see your printer on the main screen and now we can start using it for wireless printing and scanning for example to print I'm just going to open any document you can you can print anything you have like any document or any other photo for example this one is a one page click next If you want to make any changes, you can do that. You can also do the two-sided printing with it and then click on the print button. So let's see the print speed. Now the paper output tray is here. Just slide it out. Let's see the print result. So print result is good. Next step is to do the scanning. So we can just close this window. Scanning you can do with the ADF tray and also with the scanner bed. You can use ADF tray for multiple pages to scan. For example, I'm just going to place this. Scan these two. Go to the app section. Click on the scan icon. Now if you want to make any changes you can select from here, select the document type, so that is a document, if you want a photo you can select that, go, next is color or black, size is written here and that's the ADF tray so everything is ok, go back, click on the scan.
scan is done so it should be transferred here so let's see the result so both scanned copies are available here and now we can simply click on this button save it as a jpeg or pdf then save it to the files or any place you want click on the save button now we can go back so this way we can add this printer in our smartphone if you want to add it in a macbook or laptop even then you can just download the drivers and you can do that if you want to know how to do that as well you can watch my other videos on that i hope you enjoy the video thanks for watching